The above diagram shows the electrolysis of copper 2 chloride solution. What will happen at the cathode and anode? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to Describe the electrolysis of an electrolyte using carbon electrodes. Electrolysis is a reaction which uses electricity to decompose a chemical compound in electrolyte into its constituents. The electrolysis of copper 2 chloride solution by using carbon electrode produces copper metal at the cathode and chlorine gas at the anode. Let us learn how the copper and chlorine gas are obtained. In the electrolysis of copper 2 chloride, the products are formed due to transfer of electrons. Let us look what happens at the cathode. Cations, that is, copper ions, will move towards cathode. At the cathode, the copper ions will accept electrons to become copper atoms. Copper atoms will form brownish-red layer. The word equation of the reaction at the cathode is Let us look what happens at the anode. Anions, that is, chloride ions, will move towards anode. At the anode, the chloride ions will donate electrons to form greenish-yellow chlorine gas. The word equation for reaction in anode is Electrolysis of lead 2 bromide can only occur after it is heated and the compound has melted. Observe the electrolysis of molten lead 2 bromide. The experiment is done in the fume cupboard. During electrolysis, the anions, bromide ions, will move to the anode. Bromide ions will donate electrons to form atoms. Two bromine atoms will combine to form bromine gas. Bromine gas is dangerous. It should not be inhaled. The word equation for reaction at the anode is The cations, that is, lead ion, will move to the cathode. At the cathode, the lead ions will accept electrons to form lead atoms. These are the grey-coloured solids that we observed. The word equation for reaction in cathode is Electrolysis of lead to bromide can only happen when the solid is in the molten form. Molten lead to bromide is decomposed to lead and bromine. Lead 2 bromide is an ionic compound. In the solid state, these ions are closely packed and do not move freely. The above diagram shows the electrolysis of lead 2 bromide. Drag and drop the appropriate labels into the empty boxes. Your answer is correct. 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 In electrolysis of the molten aluminium chloride, what do we get at the cathode? A. Aluminium B. Chlorine gas C. Aluminium oxide D. 
aluminum chloride solids. Your answer is correct. At the cathode, what happened to the cations? A. It combines with an ion. B. It combines with cation. C. It accepts electrons to form atoms. D. It donates electrons to form atoms. Your answer is correct. Which statement is correct about the electrolysis of molten lead to bromide? A. Lead ions are the N ions. B. Electrolysis does not occur. C. Bromide ions are the N ions. D. Bromide ions are the cat ions. Your answer is correct. What is the product at the cathode during electrolysis of copper chloride? A. Sodium ions. B. Chloride ions. C. Chlorine gas. D. Copper. Your answer is correct. Electrolysis is defined as A. A process of decomposing an electrolyte. B. A process of combination of elements. C. A process of decomposing electrolyte with heat. D. A process of decomposing electrolyte with electricity. Your answer is correct. In this lesson, you have learnt about electrolysis. We now know how the electrolyte is decomposed during electrolysis by using electricity. What happens at the cathode? At the cathode, the positive ions will accept electrons to form atoms. What happens at the anode? At the anode, the negative ions will donate electrons to form atoms. Why do you think positive ions accept electrons? The positive ions accept electrons to become neutral again. Why do you think negative ions donate electrons? The negative ions donate electrons to become neutral again. Water electrolysis is used to produce hydrogen and oxygen. What are the applications of water electrolysis? Click the info button to learn more about it. Hydrogen is anticipated as the future alternative energy source. Hydrogen produced in industrial quantities can be used to power fuel cells, cars, and electric motors. In the electrolysis to produce oxygen and hydrogen, salt water is used as the ideal electrolyte. Platinum serves as the electrodes. Hydrogen forms at the cathode and oxygen at the anode when a low voltage power passes through it.